All right. Good morning, afternoon. Uh, let me get this stupid tree out of the way. Uh, we are on our, another little adventure. Uh, Debbie wants to get some poinsettias. You know the poinsettia Christmas plant. You know those. plant. It is a plant. It's a plant, not a flower. Not a flower. It's a plant. It's a plant that has red leaves. Uh, so our friend Christine Vasconcello owns a, fl a, fl a flower shop, Blooming Days Flower Shop. So we're here, and we're going to go in and see what she has. And I think that we're going to take a trip over to the clock shop too. Yes, there is a clock shop. Clocks. For those of you who can't tell time, it's the one with the hands. A lot of people can't tell time, though. You realize that? I know that. They can read time, but they can't tell time. But if you're going to, into this clock shop, you, you better be able to tell time. All right. Um, we're going to head in here and uh, follow us. See what we got. Like, like we don't need any ferns. We have ferns. Yeah, we have ferns. We have ferns. We have ferns, Mammy. Well, Hello. we're good. How are you doing? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Always is. So, oh my God. Thank you. <laughs> I expected like, you know. No, no, we got small ones though. Oh, that's what I, that, so it's all, yeah. that's what I was expecting. I was looking it's over and I was like, relative. is that some sort of genetically modified plant? No. Irradiated? <laughs> no. Actually, there's not that many that are big, so they're pretty, uh... Rare? Yeah. But people like them, so... I guess. So how have you been, kiddo? You know, I'm here. What can I say? I'm so glad that you're here. <laughs> What? Where? Where? Let me see. Yeah, I have one more to put out. You have a number of nativity scenes? Yeah, I do. Oh, cool. So, how's Pop? He's sick, but he's doing okay. He's doing okay? Good. Yeah. Outstanding. <laughs> I really do. Little shop of horrors, little shop. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, this is uh, my, my friend Christine Vasconcello's uh, flower shop. It's called uh, Blooming Days Flower Shop. Blooming Days, not Bloomingdale. So we want that or we want that? I don't know. You, why don't you look at them and see? Thank you for thinking that I know everything. Do. That I can I can just divine stuff that I've never seen before. What happened? No, no. Uh, my wife uh, about to ask me what those cost. Like I knew. <laughs> like I could have any idea. But she does it all the time. Which is really cool because she thinks I know everything. When I don't know anything really. Okay, so the small, the little tiny ones are 375. How about the ones over there? And then the, the, the six inch over here, those are 10. 
Let's grab a couple. Many, let's grab a couple of them bad boys. We ain't trying to decorate a hotel or nothing. <laughs> like I know you do hotels and stuff. Yeah, we do, we do, and then the next side's up. But I don't visit. And that was twenty feet. Why don't you grab a couple of them right, right there, right? Okay. They just came in. Oh, they just. So anything in that gold? They're just and going then out. We have Traditional is gold. Really? Yes. I hope that's not on. Well, it is on because we got it. Because you know that we do our our our, our thing on on Monday morning, right? What thing? Uh, oh, your show. Yes, and yeah. we also and we upload that show to YouTube. Uh huh. So what we don't do very well is is vlog, and um, we're going to. So Willie has to go home and take this video and chop it up into pieces and. Put it on YouTube. How about that? Yay! Something to do. Because I need more to do. Are you finding some? Okay. Cool. So cool. Okay, you get those two? Those two right there. Perfect. Perfect? <laughs> wow. I don't know how much is perfect, but I'm glad that that's yeah, perfect. Yeah, just you know, it's just like one of those days that you just you haven't stopped, you know. Mm -hmm. And it's just like I started early this morning. We had a big funeral, so um, so we just finished it. And just like coming down. So. Well, good. So we will see. Hi, do you need some help? Not yet. Okay, just let me know. So. You yeah, doing, I'm doing the important part here. I'm doing two important parts here. So how is the show going now? Uh, it's going well, I think. Um, growing organically. Growing organically. We're not, we've not done any advertising and got decent subscriptions and on um, on on YouTube and each of the Facebook cast gets a couple hundred views. Okay, well that's good. They priced, I know where to find them. WTMP has, has priced us out of Porch Talk Radio again, so. Oh, really? Ooh, yeah. It's okay. They, uh, uh, they came by here. Who, the Porch Talk Radio guys? Uh, or yeah. WTMP? W, uh, w Can I come in now? Huh? I don't want to be on camera. Well, oh. <laughs> nobody knows you. <laughs> well, you don't know this. <laughs> I can oh, help you. I lived in this area for 30 years. I have been in this neighborhood for 30 years. Everybody knows me. <laughs> <laughs> want to get those? Yeah. Well, okay. let me ask you a question. Can I get one yellow rose? Sure. How much will it cost me? The rose is $3. Three bucks for a rose? Yep. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> okay. Yay or nay? No, we leave I don't yeah, know. what's it going to look like? Just a yellow rose? I'm going to walk down the street with it? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Alright. Hey, girl. Okay, yo. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas. Give Bye. Papa a hug for me. Give, yeah. give Papa a hug for me. I will. Listen, and um, if you want, I'll come by and play a little bit if you want this year. Oh, okay, yeah. Cool. We're going to go over to the clock, people. Okay, I don't know. You have your keys? Hang on. Well, you're welcome to look around. Um, Thank you. You're welcome. Let us know if you have any questions. We will, we will do just that, I promise. So, what have you been in here before? Uh, yeah, I've been in here before. You've been in, but you haven't been. No, I haven't, I haven't yeah. been in here before. I, those, I like that huge clock there. I want one for my living room. What, what huge clock? The one in the window. Oh my god, that's probably several thousand dollars. Which <laughs> one? <laughs> but not quite this big. It's probably. Right. Go ahead, go ahead. No, this one's battery operated. What, is it like a car battery operated? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just a little, a double A battery. Really? Yeah, triple A, yeah. Something like that. But it, that's too big for the wall. Yeah, that takes up, up the whole house. Yeah. Well, it's big, big. 
You don't have any others like that, but smaller? Uh, you want exactly the same thing, but different. There's not one up there. Same kind of idea. Mm-hmm. Gotta put some guts in it, though, looks like. Yeah, I'm going to put it in hands and one of, one of those <laughs> movements. It's actually pretty simple. You like that one? That's fine. What's it sell for? Yeah. What, how much is it? Uh, I don't know. I'm going to go get it. We have got a uh, grandfather clock. They have everything in here. I told you this was a real life clock shop. Where you've got to know how to tell, you got to know how, you gotta, you gotta know how to tell time in this place. A cuckoo clock? No. No, I went to college with a guy with a cuckoo clock. A ding dong clock. It was a ding dong clock. It wasn't a cuckoo. It was a, it was a ding dong clock. They had a cuckoo clock at their house. It was full of candy. Because every time it would come out, they'd throw candy at it. Hey there. Hey, how have you been? Good to see you again. Good, man. How you doing? I'm all right. I brought my wife by. Hey there. We're doing a little vlogging Hello. for our, our, our channel, but we went next door to... Christine's, and I said, and she mentioned that she wanted a clock for the for our wall. And I said, wait, I know where there's a real live clock shop where everybody in there can t actually tell time. Right, for the most part. Not just read time, but actually tell time. <laughs> what clock were you interested in? That one upstairs. Okay, yeah, you'd be looking at uh, 45. Okay. okay. You good? You're the money man. Uh, am I the money man today? Yeah. Um, we'll put a brand new, uh, where's our letter? I don't know. <laughs> oh, back maybe? No, I thought we had it up here. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. I don't know. Okay, we'll go see if you get it. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, we still got to get phones. So. I can pick for it. Oh, that's different. That black one over there. Nah. You don't like that? No. It's kind of it? it's scary looking. <laughs> it looks a little demonic. I don't think I like it at all. It's scary looking. It's scary looking. I don't got black. No. Too much gold is more like it's, it's like living in Trump Plaza. Too much gold everywhere. Grandfather clocks, they fix ding dong clocks, they fix cuckoo clocks. That's all. That's cool. Looks like it's got a couple little little dingy dongies. Yeah. Well, you know, it adds to the patina. The character. <laughs> Well, I'm going to take some off the price for it. Okay. Just charge you for the uh, 25 for a new course movement. Oh, you're very kind. Okay. I'll, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll come back here this Christmas and play more Christmas carols. How about that? <laughs> I had a uh, I had a sound system. Came you out with it. Yeah, it, it, it had a wireless and it came out. I put a wireless on. I had a wire. That's right. I had a wireless. Uh, and then they could hear it all the way across the street. Oh, it was yeah. wonderful. It was wild. <laughs> it was wonderful. No, I couldn't believe how good that was. It was fun. I had a good time. And then um, uh, Christine's dad had food. I mean, they had food for the crew. And of course, I mean, have to eat. Have to eat. Mm -hmm. It's a good time. Okay, well, cool. Charge it. That's right. Well, cool. Then yep. you're going to have to hang it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm hip. But I'm going to put the, take that mirror and put it on. Uh, Poulet, I guess. Made 170 years before, before, the, before the idea of the pendulum. Wow. 
Wow. That's pretty cool. That. Okay. Okay, so what's the dial on this? On that. Is that not the coolest thing? It is. Now, I don't have one of the, um, I sold it. I had a great big, like a six, no, no, that dial. I've got a seven foot dial that I'm getting ready to put in the window, but I gotta finish it up. My projects always, you know, I have to wait for my projects. Um, let's just grab it. I think once it's, uh, fine. The, um, that dial would have been on the outside of the building, you know, like a church. Okay. Or let's see if I can see. Uh, I'm sure I've got some kind of example around here somewhere. But like our downtown city hall building. So that's the, so that's the guts of it, really. This is the guts. Okay. And there'd be a shaft. I just broke this cable over here. This would be running. This, just... this one goes back and forth. Oh, okay. But it's more of a pendulum thing, so I got it. This is the pendulum, yeah. And I just broke it. This one doesn't have a pendulum. It's got this foliate. Okay. This is before the pendulum came out. Galileo's when it came up with the pendulum in 1602. And this was made before Gal Galileo was born. But anyway, this will have a shaft that comes. This, this is with the shaft right here. Okay. It will go out to a dial. So this would be up in the church tower. Gotcha. City hall building or something. And, um, and this would run a dial. But this may have been put on later because the gearing is different for this than it is for the rest of the, the little clock. And the reason I say that is the very early ones, it just rung a bell. It didn't have a dial. Okay. And the word clock comes from Middle Latin for bell, which mean, which was clocka, is the Middle Latin name for bell. So they didn't. Even, that's where the term clock comes from, for, for a bell. And um, and this would have just rung the bell. Okay. Okay. So yeah, but this is ancient. There's this might easily be the oldest clock in the Western Hemisphere, this side of the world. The the Smithsonian doesn't have a tower clock this old, and neither does the National Museum of Clocks. So there's one over here on Florida Avenue. <laughs> the oldest one in the hemisphere may be on Florida, Florida Avenue. Florida Avenue, that's right. <laughs> How cool is that? <laughs> That is super awesome. Isn't that cool? And you can touch it. It's not, you know. It's not behind the glass or a guard or, or velvet rope. No, no. All right, 25. I still didn't set it. I'm sure it's running fine. I paint this so it doesn't look... If you'll notice, on these big hands, they have to have a counterweight. So I paint it so it kind of blends in. So when you glance up, this isn't confusing you. You can read it. So, yeah, so when you glance up, you can see the time. Okay. And uh, that's not how they come. They come all black, but it's it's a little confusing if you're glancing up to look at the time. This way you can re read it real quick. But that's why. And I can show you on the one outside the same exact thing. I've been doing it that way for a long time. Oh, cool. That's pretty cool. Yep. Now, about how old is this, you think? I don't know. Maybe 20? Oh, getting phone call. Well, we really, really, really enjoyed him playing uh, last holiday. We'll be back. And we can hardly hear him until we got. All right, we are uh, we're out of the clock shop. Clock shop, Boyd's clock shop here on Florida, Florida Avenue. Avenue, and that clock Tampa. that we that you saw was actually a mechanism, um, like the uh, like the guy said, a mechanism that um, actually rang a bell. Probably wasn't attached to a dial. Uh, that may indeed be the oldest of those mechanisms on the Western Hemisphere. That's incredible. That. It's right, right here on Florida Avenue, right here next to the house, in a pretty nondescript, frankly, little clock shop uh, that not a lot of people know about. Really nice folks, though. Uh, 
But if you're into grandfather clocks, this is the place to come. They have beautiful clocks. 11, uh, for those of you in Tampa, 11620 uh, Florida Avenue. Uh, right next to Bloomingdale's Flower Shop, so uh, across the street from the um, BMW Porsche place. It's cool, really neat. All right, so well, well, where are we off to now? We're off to oh, that that tile that we got is from Walmart, right? Yes. So we got to go back to Walmart, right? Yes. Do we have to go to Home Depot for anything? Uh, not that I can think of. Okay, then we won't go there. I don't want to pass it and go, oh, we need to go, we need to, go to Home Depot. Like, ah, too late. Next year. Yes. You're right. They're repaving every road to pretend that this is our tax and wasn't working. 